Hi, it's Virginia and Stacy at Blue Creek Dairy Farm, and these are our 2018 goals. Our goals are somewhat arranged chronologically, with number one being... Finishing the house. Finishing the house. Very excited about finishing the house. We're ready. Not really. We have more work to do. Uh, so we have the plumbing and we have the electrical rough-in inspected, so the major systems are done in the house. We have some punch list items we have to do, like install a dryer vent and a chase for the chimney and probably some blocking somewhere needs to be put in. But then all we have to do is finish insulating and we'll be ready for drywall. And then of course we're still waiting to hear back about the spray foam upstairs and we'll probably be finishing the upstairs separately and that is okay. But we are looking forward to finishing the downstairs by the end of March and uh, moving in. Everything we need to have to live in a house is located downstairs so there's bedrooms, bathroom, kitchen. The upstairs is just bonus space really so if that's not finished at the same time that's okay and we actually uh, kind of foresaw this a little bit and uh, thought even early in the project that we might not finish the upstairs at the same time as the downstairs because of funding the whole pay-as-you-go thing. Our second goal is bringing cows onto our farm. So we have had a goal for a long time to be a dairy farm, and we bought our farm in 2010 uh, when Stacy had 10 years in the Coast Guard. And uh, we wanted to start calves, and then it takes two years before we're ready to milk them. So we knew when Stacy retired in 2020 that we wanted to be ready to start our dairy, and our plan was to start calves in 2018. And in case you hadn't noticed, it's 2018, so we are excited to bring our cows onto the property. So this has probably been the longest running 2018 goal that we've had because we've had this goal from the very beginning. And we're going to start them as calves and we're going to start with just a few of them so that we can build up our herd, have a closed herd, and then also so that when we start our dairy we're not uh, overtaxing ourselves. As part of the cows goal, uh, part of that includes infrastructure. So a few years ago we did uh, put in a perimeter fence around our pasture and overall that has stood up well but like everything it does require maintenance and building the house last summer some of that maintenance has gone by the wayside so we have to uh, fix a few sections of fence, tighten up some wire but also we're going to be adding an electric wire to the inside perimeter fence. So that will take a little bit of time to do and we also have to add some basic uh, water infrastructure and build a water slash mineral sled uh, because we want to rotationally graze and that will give us a way to transport those between paddocks. So that brings us to 12. Goal number three. Goal number three. And 12 was a 12 before it was cool to be a 12, but 12 is our 1971 Kenworth truck and regardless of sentimental reasons we need to get some work done on this truck because we need it. Uh, one of the reasons we bought it was to haul stuff so I have been tinkering on it here and there the past couple years. Uh, a major plus is that it does run uh, but there's a lot of work yet to be done so we don't have any major construction projects planned for 2018 so we're going to try and use that time to really push and uh, work on the truck. Uh, the biggest system that's going to take the most work is probably the air system. Pretty much every airline is going to have to be replaced on there. But otherwise, you know, the fuel system, the tanks have to be drained and I want to replace the fuel lines and clean everything and put new clean fuel in. And the electrical system I've started on but it needs a lot of work. And then just a uh, routine maintenance item, changing fluids and uh, stuff like that. So just some minor things that you have to do on 12 and then it'll be road ready. Is that what you're telling me? The plan is to have 12 road ready by spring 2019. So that is uh, a goal that extends into the next year, but that is what we're aiming for. 
it doesn't fit in the shop it's too big so we really do have to focus most of our work uh, during the fair weather times because otherwise it's just miserable working outside in the winter but I really do love having 12 on the farm and I'm looking forward to it getting to be a functional truck that we can use on the farm to haul things and I love having the family history and having Stacy work on it so I'm looking forward to it being a working truck for our farm. Our next goal is fowl. So uh, you may have noticed that we published some photos and some of our videos with some of the birds that we have on our farm and I'm fascinated by wildlife and birds in particular and uh, I want to start some quail this summer on our farm for eggs so I've been researching how to raise them on pasture in some type of protected environment. So I'm looking forward to figuring that out and then publishing some videos about that. Also, uh, we're going to have some chickens that are going to follow behind the cows in the pasture. And we have looked into different systems, but I think we have decided that we are going to build a Justin Rhodes style chick shaw. And we've talked with the uh, grass-fed homestead, uh, Dan and Ashley, and have looked at their chick shaw. And I think that's what we're going to go with. So we're excited about uh, also bringing uh, some uh, fowl onto the property as well as cows this year. We did talk to the grass-fed homestead just to uh, see if there was anything they would change on their chick shaw. And they said that they wouldn't. They like it the way it is. And it was pretty much built as per the Justin Rhodes plan. So... I think that's the route we're going to go to because if it's not broke, we don't want to fix it. The next goal is a garden, which is mostly her. Yes, I'm very excited about growing some food on our farm that we can eat. Rather than just what we have been growing, which is our food's food. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's mostly going to be a kitchen garden that we can eat a lot of fresh veggies out of for the summer. Uh, radishes, greens, green beans, beets, uh, corn, potatoes basic, you know, squashes, just all the basic things you have in a kitchen garden. Watermelon? Yes, watermelon. And then we'll work on some preservation as well. So I'm very excited about also bringing that onto our farm. Like jams and jellies? Like jams and jellies, yes, jams and jellies. So excited about doing that and doing some of that with our family. This next goal is very awesome and it has been a long time coming and that is preparing for my retirement. So. The first thing I have to do as soon as I hit the 18 year mark in the Coast Guard is submit a letter to the government requesting permission to think about retiring. So the plan is to submit that and then hopefully get that returned and endorsed uh, in the affirmative shortly. But otherwise there's lots of other planning we have to do as well as far as determining uh, health care and stuff like that because when we bought the farm in 2010 that was the halfway point of my career so it was a conscious decision uh, to go ahead and stay in the service and keep going because at that point uh, you had to make the determination whether you stay or whether you go. Those are our main goals for 2018. An overarching goal we have is basically just to catch up on things. One major thing we need to do is catch up on maintenance in general on the farm. With building the house this last summer, everything else went by the wayside. It was a struggle just to put up hay. Um, but with that, there, there's, like Virginia mentioned, a lot of equipment that needs uh, some routine maintenance done, fences that need to be fixed, uh, just overall just catching up, cleaning up, fixing up type stuff. And um, another thing is this year I have a lot of work that I need to do with our organic certification. We have some acreage we're going to bring in to organic certification and since we're adding in animals, that's another layer of certification and paperwork I need to learn how to do. So it's another level of uh, maintenance that I need to, to look into. And also kind of a, a catch-all would be just enjoying life on the farm a little bit more. Every time we went to the farm this year was a work period and not that that wasn't great, but we didn't get a chance to really spend a lot of time enjoying just life on the farm. So hopefully having the house done and me being there full time, uh, we'll be able to have some more enjoyable downtime on the farm. So every time this summer we were on the farm, we basically went one of three places in a triangle. <laughs> the house building site, the shop, or the materials pile. Yes. Just back and forth between those three places. 
The next item on our list doesn't really fall within our goals, but is actually a wish list. So the goals are something that we are definitely striving for, uh, determined to do, whereas the wish list is things we want. Uh, hopefully we get them, but we might not, and that's okay. Is so, it okay? It's got to be. I know. So one of the first things on our wish list is a gooseneck trailer for 12. And that's a wish list this year, but it's a necessity for 2019. It will definitely make 12 a lot more useful. After that, we have a wish list item for a drone. I'm fascinated by drone footage, and I really want to get a drone for our farm so that I can get some awesome footage uh, from the air of our property and our buildings and the animals on our farm. So I'm looking forward to one day getting a drone. May not happen this year, but hopefully within the next few years I'll get an awesome drone. The next thing on our wish list is a back blade for our blue tractor. So we do have a snow plow on our little red tractor, which works great, but the black blade on the blue tractor would be much more versatile because we can use it for snow. But also we could use it for grading the driveway, doing grading around the house site, and then eventually we want to do some other earthworks as far as some stuff like swales in the pastures and stuff like that. So a back blade will be a welcome addition to our implement inventory. Another wish list item is planting more trees. We've always been planting trees pretty much every year that we've been on the farm. And that ranges from um, conservation plantings to pine trees, things like that. And we'd like to plant maybe some shade trees around the house now that we have the house built. So we'll just see what's available and how time is as things move forward. The next thing on our list is actually a trip, and that is to the Calgary Stampede this summer. The Calgary Stampede is a huge rodeo outdoor show in Calgary, Alberta, in Canada. And I've actually been to the Calgary Stampede when I was really little, but I don't remember it. So we'd like to go again. In addition, we have friends in Alberta that we would hopefully like to visit as well. We think it would just be a fun trip. It wouldn't be too far to go. And it would be really nice to see uh, some of the country up there and to see some of those events. Well, another wish list is a farm office. We have an 8x10 shack, prefab shack that we bought from a big box store and we built it in 2011 and that was initially the first place we lived when we would come work on the farm. In 2016 uh, we fixed it up a little bit. We put in insulation and uh, some new bunks and Stacy uh, put a plug in there so we could have electricity and then we renamed it the Shack Toe because it was all fancy and uh, we still use it um, to stay in sometimes. But now a lot of the times we stay with family in a nearby town when we're working on the farm. But not, but not for much longer because we'll have a house. Yes. But I'm thinking about repurposing that building to be a farm office where I can have all my farm records and a table with a computer and I could work in there on farm office business. The next item isn't really a goal. It's not a wish list. It's a need. What do we need, Virginia? We need a dog. We need a dog. We had a dog, a wonderful black Labrador retriever. Named An amazing dog. Yes named Bowditch, and we had her from 2005 to 2015. We got her when we were stationed in Alaska, and we had her all the way, like I said, to 2015 when she passed away from uh, basically an internal ca cancer. But she was amazing. She transferred everywhere with us. She was so smart and so patient. She knew more about us than we know about ourselves, and we miss her dearly. But we decided we weren't gonna get another dog until we were on the farm full time because we didn't want to have to train a new dog while we were still transferring around. So now that we're going to be on the farm full time, we need a dog. So that is why it wasn't a goal and it wasn't a wish list because it is a need. So we're looking forward to getting a new dog and sharing that journey with you. In closing, uh, these are our goals for 2018. Some of our longer term goals is, like I mentioned earlier, we're taking a year off from building, but in 2019, we're going to build a barn. And that will be animal housing, hay storage, as well as the dairy. So it'll have the milking parlor, the milk house, the processing room, and cold storage. So that's going to be a big deal. 
Uh, additionally, 2019 is when we plan to have 12 road ready uh, with its gooseneck trailer, ready to haul stuff. And then in 2020, uh, I will retire, and that is when we hope to be in milk production and processing our own dairy products. We really appreciate you coming along with us on this journey and look forward to sharing more videos with you of our progress and actually look forward to a wrap-up video at the end of 2018 where we'll actually be in our house with our dog. On the farm. On the farm, going over our goals and wishes and seeing how we did. So until next time, we'll see you on the Tom Rosa. Thanks for watching.